Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea, and I've been sterilizing stray cats. This act is called TNR, which stands for Trap, Neuter, Return. It's by far the most humane way to deal with stray cats overpopulation. There are estimated more than 250 million stray cats in Indonesia. An unspayed female cat can mate and give birth bi-monthly, with an average of 4 kittens in each litter. I personally know some people who believe the act of spaying and neutering is cruel and it's against God's will, but when their pet cats kept giving birth every two months, they eventually started to throw the kittens out on the street, assuming they will survive as street cats. One thing I know for sure is, stray cats here don't die from starvation. In every neighborhood, there will always be some cat lovers who feed them routinely. But that doesn't prevent them from getting hit by cars, contracting and spreading disease, or even worse, encounter sick humans who torture animals for fun. Let me tell you about an extreme case that happened in Australia. The overpopulated feral cats there has negatively affected the wildlife, endangering some species of birds and small mammals. And how do they deal with it? They trap and shoot the cats. I know most cat lovers feel upset hearing this news, but I also understand this was the fastest way to protect their ecosystem. That is an extreme case of what happens when things get out of control. Now let's take a look at Japan's most popular cat island, Aoshima. They started to take action before things get out of hand. I visited the island in 2017. Back then, most of the cats there were still intact. Just a year later, in 2018, the Aoshima Cat Protection Society began to implement TNR subsidized by the government. Because they realized the negative consequences they might face if they just let the cats reproduce infinitely. Fortunately, in Indonesia, the idea of TNR is becoming more and more popular government even hosts free sterilized event every month. Since I have the financial means, I choose to participate in affordable TNR programs instead. The slots are limited as well, so you must pay and reserve the slots in advance. The cost is usually around 200k rupiah for males and 300k for females. What I do daily is I go around the neighborhoods to get acquainted with as many cats as possible, give them snacks to earn their trust, so it would be easier for me to catch them when I have to. Do you love me? <laughs> so I always catch the cats two days before the surgery date. This is how I catch cats. I grab onto the loose skin behind their neck. This will freeze them. Then I secure them inside the pet carrier, transport them to my dad's old house where I temporarily keep all my rescue cats. The ones going through TNR will be put inside the cage. They must fast for at least 8 hours before the surgery. Afterward, we take care of the cats for another week to make sure they are completely healed before releasing them. For those who are wondering, why not just keep them or find them home? Simple. Not every cat wants to be adopted. Most stray cats enjoy the outdoor life with their colonies in the environment they are familiar with. Plus, most adult cats have great survival instincts. If they looked healthy when I captured them, then they should be fine to be returned to the same environment. Bye-bye! <laughs> Ear tip is a must. This is a universally recognized mark that the cat had been fixed in order to prevent recapture. Ear tipping is done while the cat is under anesthesia, so it's not painful to the cat. Now let's talk about some downsides of TNR. Although it's the most humane method of population control, it also takes time and costs money. That's why the free sterilization program is still very limited. Not every feral cat is friendly and catchable. Obviously, for most stray cats who have spent their entire life living freely on the street, when they get trapped in a small cage, they will panic. You can help to calm them down a bit by covering the cage. Risk-wise, it's a very low-risk surgery as long as you follow all the instructions. I know the act of trapping and going through a surgery is not a pleasant experience for any living beings, but it's short-term suffering for long-term good. 
the benefits outweigh the negative. Sterilizing means less stray cats. Less stray cats means less unnecessary death. It saves lives in the long run. It helps to reduce the spread of disease. Neutering male cats can reduce their aggressive behaviors and this will lead to a reduction in environmental damage, property damage, and wildlife mortality. Lastly, sterilized cats are healthier in general. Spayed female cats in the study live 39% longer and neutered male cats live 62% longer. All the cats you see at the old house were raised since kittens. I found them on the street, abandoned. I take in kittens because their survival chance is low. I now have more than 20 cats to take care of. I can't even keep counts to be honest. I cannot place them in the house I currently live in because I already have dogs. My dogs do not get along with cats. That's why I place them in our old house with a staff who looks after them. Shout out to Padanja. We hired him to guard and take care of the empty house. I am beyond grateful that he is also taking really good care of the cats. Without him, I wouldn't be able to do this. However, my biggest concern right now is that this property is being listed for rent. I have no control over this. Once someone rents it, I must figure out how to relocate all 20 plus cats. I have made some posts on social media looking for adopter, but it is not easy to find a trustworthy adopter. I've heard stories of people who will pretend to adopt since it's free, then they'll try to sell the cat. If they can't sell it, then they'll throw it back on the street. As for now, I just don't have the time to do like a full background check, a house visit for potential adopter. So I'm keeping all the cats for now. As much as I love to help all the animals in need, I am just an individual animal lover without a team. I have limit. There are already thousands of cats looking to be adopted at shelters. It's already impossible for me to keep an eye on all the cats I've TNR'd. So far, I have TNR'd more than 70 cats already. After I release them, all I can do is hope for the best. Earlier, I mentioned TNR doesn't prevent them from getting virus, hit by car, or picked up by psychopath. Recently, I started to put reflective collar on all the cats. I figured not only this would lower the risk of roadkill, perhaps a malicious person would think twice before hurting a cat with collar assuming it has owner. As for disease, I check on the cats in my neighborhood daily. If any of them is sick, I will give them medication and vitamins. The lucky ones will live on peacefully or perhaps even get adopted. Since we don't live in an ideal world, some of them will not make it. There was this one male cat, just two months after I sterilized him, he died accidentally from ingesting rat poison that was put out by the neighbor. Sometimes shit happens and it's beyond our control. Besides sterilizing, Another solution to reduce stray population is to adopt Don't Shop. We really need to spread awareness, stop supporting profit-centered breeders in order to put an end to this. Throwing your pets out on the street is what led to the increasing number of stray animals. Every animal shelter is always full, and some of them have no choice but to implement euthanasia in order to control the population. If you refuse to sterilize your cat, Please keep your cat indoor at all costs. Don't let it roam freely to mate with other cats. Some people think just because I love animals, they can toss any unwanted pets to me. Without seeing the full picture that keeping an additional pet means another decade long of responsibility. I'm not a superhero who have unlimited time and resources to rescue all animals. More people need to learn to be responsible pet owners instead. The best I can do for now at this stage of my life is TNR as many cats as I can afford. I know it's a never-ending mission, but it's worth the fight for me. I'm going to link all the TNR programs that I know in Jakarta in the pinned comment.
You can too be like me and participate in your local TNR programs. If you don't have time, you can help directly by donating to your local shelters or rescue organizations. Even just by liking and sharing a video like this one, you are helping to boost it so more people can be aware of the issue. Thank you so much for watching.